We're live. Hi, everyone. I think it's working on it. Is it? Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's doing the circle. Yeah. There we are. Oh, there it's we live. Are. We're live. We're live. Yay. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> You're alive, honey. Uh, oh, I'm grateful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, welcome uh, late Saturday morning for yet another Senior Saint moment with Laurie Bell and Randy Bell here. Yep. So, hopefully, everybody's got some plans for today. And, uh, we do. The, the plan to stay cool. Stay cool yeah. while outside. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But then we're going to the river. Yes. The Brazos River. Brazos River, yeah, yes. down toward Waco. Yeah. Uh, to celebrate. Celebrate a couple of birthdays. Yeah. Yeah, and see the grand young and see the grand young young kids. Yes. Yes. And yes, we will wade in the river. And yes, we will fish. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Always. So looking forward to that today. Uh later on here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So hopefully y'all too have plans for this beautiful Saturday afternoon nearly. Yes. Yes. So today, Senior Saint Moment, we're going to talk about Invisible. That's the title of this uh, brief little message. It's called Invisible. And uh, it, sometimes I hear of this mm -hmm. uh, and see it sometimes with folks. And uh, so hopefully the, those that need to hear this, it will resonate with them. You mean some of your Senior Saints? Well, some. Yeah. And others, not yeah. just senior saints. Not just but, senior saints. But yeah, they're, they're all ages. Carol from Estes Park. Oh, oh Carol. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yes, we, we should do a senior saint moment from Estes Park. Oh, yes. But yeah, Carol, you can take us with you we'll next put time. Put that on our <laughs> bucket list. So yes. Howdy to all who are joining us this morning. It's yes. good to see you. Yes. Uh, and, but especially, Carol, we're a little bit envious. Absolutely. So enjoy that cool, crisp mm. air. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> be on the lookout for elk because yes. they like to cross the road in <laughs> random places up there. Yes, do. So before we get started, let's invite the Lord into our conversation. Okay. Holy God, we come to you this morning and we praise you and thank you for this opportunity and for all who are watching and all who will watch. We pray that your Holy Spirit would intervene in this conversation and reveal the truths that we need to know and learn today. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, uh, as we continue with uh, Missy Buchanan's book, Aging Faithfully, we're in the part of it called invisible. So uh, to begin with, uh, I think it'd be good. Laurie's going to read passage from Isaiah in 49, 15, mm -hmm. 16, A. Okay. Yes. Never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel no love for the child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. See, I have written your name on the palms of my hands. He's written our name on the palm of his hand? Yes. That's pretty comforting. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's pretty comforting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Isaiah 49, that's good. So, thank you for that. Yes. So, hear these words. A slightly stooped man walks into the room. Not so long ago, his frame would have filled the doorway. Now it seems that no one can see him at all. He feels invisible to the rest of the world. Edging close to a chair, he lets his body drop into the soft cushions. I know how that feels. <laughs> That's good. Yes. Another day is gone without a phone call or a visit. He closes his eyes and steals himself for one more round of disappointment. I've seen some folks like that. 
Yes, I have to. Yep. Um, so when you think that people are too busy in their lives to remember you, you get this awful feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you have aged, you may f have felt unimportant or even overlooked. In fact, it may seem that you have lost much of your identity. You know, I, I know so many people whose identity is in their work or in whatever in the past. And they, right. They hang on to that. What they used to do. What they used to do mm -hmm. or be. And it's not all bad. It's, you know, that's part of what shapes you and molds you for the future. Right. So some may feel that they, they have lost much of their identity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you don't want others pity. And you don't want to be treated like a child. True. <laughs> you just wish that people could see you as the real person that you are with feelings and a long past. So I know there's folks out there like that. Oh, yeah. So never forget one thing, though, if you're one of these people. You matter greatly to God. Mm. You're not worthless. You're not a castaway. And remember that God has already done for you in years past. And be confident that God still has a mission for you. So remember the ways that he's worked with you and provided mm -hmm. for you in years past. And he still has a mission. Mm. So accept the fact that you cannot change others. Sure. That's a hard thing <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. Instead, pray for them and don't try to manipulate them. We we cannot change people. Only God can change people. Sure. Uh, we can suggest all day long things people should do or should not do. Mm -hmm. But as a matter of the heart, we can't change that. No. It's up to the Holy Spirit. So instead, focus on being a strong witness to these people. And above all, remember that you are loved by a God who knows everything about you and loves you still. That's a scary thing. Yes, knows everything. <laughs> That's all true. Yes. Knows everything about you. So as you age, you know, sometimes uh, it's easy to lose a sense of identity. And so think of a time when you felt overlooked or rejected. You think of any time like that. I never overlook or reject you. <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Sweet, um, sweetheart. Uh, yeah. I was fixing to say, how deep can we go with this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so sometimes people might feel forgotten. Let's just talk about the things that happened today. Uh, sometimes you f may feel forgotten when you there's a delay in response to a text. Yes, you text somebody, they don't respond, that the message doesn't come up that it's read, so you think instantly, I've, I've done something wrong, mm -hmm. or maybe they're a, mad at me. <laughs> or maybe an email, same an way. An email, yes. I've had some ask if I got the email. Uh, <laughs> And it might be three or four days ago or two days ago. Yeah. And anyway, uh, or maybe even Facebook, social right. media. If, if you, you might feel rejected if you don't get a certain number of likes yeah. or responses. If or, you posted something that to you is very important, but nobody else thought it was important. So, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, I say don't let any of that make you feel rejected right. or overlooked because it's not the truth. Don't overthink. So if, if we ponder your our your spiritual identity, mm -hmm. uh, Laura's going to read some scripture that helps set some of that straight and show you where you might stand and where you do stand with in relationship to God. So she's going to read from, uh, you can just say where they are. It's Psalm mm -hmm. 139, 1 through 6. Yep. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down and when, or stand up. You know my thoughts, even when I'm far away. 
You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say, even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. So God knows what you're going to say. Mm hmm Scary. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and this is 1 Corinthians 15, 10a. But whatever I am now, it is all because God poured out his special favor on me and not without results. Yeah. Yep. You have worth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do good things he planned for us long ago. Yeah. That's good news. Yes, it is. It yeah. is. So think about those verses uh, as you ponder your spiritual identity. And, you know, there's some things that uh, that we can try and take care of on our own, which many do. Mm -hmm. But we should let these scripture verses really seep into our souls and know that God loves us and we have purpose here. Yes. So. What do we do here? Here's mm -hmm. a suggestion. Turn your focus to others. Don't wait for someone else to strike up a conversation. Yes. You, you go to them. Yes. <laughs> Preach <Yeah>. it. <laughs> yeah. Get get acquainted with a neighbor. Yes. Or, or call an old friend or write a letter to a grandchild or someone in your church. Mm -hmm. or, and if not a letter, just a card. Yeah. Uh, th that gives you purpose and helps them mm -hmm. maybe overcome the very feeling that you're feeling right now. And those letters to grandchildren mean so much. Mm -hmm. I remember my dad, whenever our oldest daughter went to college, he would sit down and write her a letter and she would write letters back to him. And that meant so much to the both of them because he, whenever he was in uh, the military, he would get homesick. And he was worried about her being homesick. So he would write her letters of, you know, how he dealt with it and what he went through and everything. And I think that meant so much to her. So yeah. write those letters. Yeah, write them. Write the letters. Write the cards. Mm -hmm. So no step is too small in God's scheme of things. It's all about relationship, y'all. Yes. So whenever you feel overlooked, read... Isaiah 49, 15 through 16 again. Mm -hmm. And know that you're incredibly valued and that your name is indeed written on the palm of God's hand. Yes. Yeah. Very true. Anything else before we end today? No. I see a comment here from Fred asking if you're wearing an orange shirt. Oh. Fred, there are no orange shirts in this house, <laughs> especially burnt orange. This is red. This is the uh, the act in One Nation Under God. Yes. <laughs> Fourth of July shirt from a year or two back. So. Yes. Thanks for asking, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about that more on the hiking trail next time we get together. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to God in prayer. Okay. So we're going to end in prayer. So y'all please bow. Almighty God, it's hard to think that our identity has somehow slipped away with every passing year. Help us to accept that what we cannot change in others. And remind us that we are your child and that our name is written on your heart. And that our real identity is indeed rooted in you. So give us a sense of peace and identity in relationship with others. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. So y'all have a great rest of the Saturday and weekend. And as always, if uh, you don't have a church home, actonmethodist.com slash live, uh, 9 o'clock and 1030 on Sundays. 
if you're worshiping online or otherwise we are uh, back worshiping in person yes with appropriate social distancing and uh, <laughs> uh, all those things in place mm -hmm. so i hope you have a rest of, of the day that is good yes well, let's go to the river let's go to the river okay may god richly bless you all bye y'all bye bye